Okay, this is study session two for linear growth. And we're going to do problem 18. Uh, I wrote the problem on the board. It's a long word problem. And I wrote it down because I think it's important to be able to look at the words. And let's read it. A manufacturer currently has on hand 387 widgets. During the next two years, the manufacturer will be increasing his inventory by 37 widgets per week. And then it says, assume that there are exactly 52 weeks in a year. An actual year is 52 weeks plus one day. So we're going to ignore that one day. And for us, two years is 104 weeks. Now, each widget costs 10 cents per week to store. So the idea is manufacturer has a factory where they make 37 widgets in a week. That's about seven widgets every day, Monday to Friday. And then they have a warehouse where they store the widgets. And it costs money to run the warehouse. Uh, they have to have additional space. So you can think of these widgets as taking up a lot of space. If the widgets were really small, maybe this wouldn't make sense. Um, okay, now, let's just start in on the problems. Problem A. How many widgets will the manufacturer have on hand after 20 weeks. Well, he starts off with 387. Then each week following, you'll add an extra 37. You have to do that 20 times. And then the question is, what number will you get? Okay, just so I have room to write this down. Now that we know the question here, I'm just going to erase this one. And as we work on the problem, uh, we know, for example, that P0 let me use this color. P0 is equal to 387. That's the number of widgets. We know that D is equal to 37. That's the number of widgets that it gets increased every week. And then we know that the formula for the number of widgets after n weeks is going to be P0 plus n times D. So in this case, to get 20 weeks out, we say that P, the number of widgets after 20, is equal to 387 plus 20 times 37. 20 times 37. Now, the simplest thing on here is probably just to use a calculator on this. Uh, do it 37 seven times 20. 740. When I add to it 387. And that's equal to 1,000, 1,127. Okay? So that's the answer to A. Now, question B says, how many widgets will the manufacturer have on hand after N weeks? Actually, we, we solved that already. B really should have been the first question because you need to actually do that before you can find out. So, and then it says assume that N is less than 104. All that means is that this is going to be how many they're going to have. Some uh, Before you get to two years. After two years, he's not going to be making any more, apparently, according to this problem. Okay, so actually, B is quite easy. We're just going to erase that. We already did that one. We got that right there. Now C says, what is the cost of storing the original 387 widgets for two years or 104 weeks? Okay. Well, we know that it's going to cost 10 cents per week for each widget. So that's 387 times 10 cents for each week. And then we have to multiply that by 104 weeks to get the total cost of storing the original 387 widgets. And I would do this in dollars. 10, 10 cents is one tenth of a dollar. So I would express this as $38.70 times 104 weeks. And to get a total that I will also use by calculator, 38.7 times 
times 104. That's equal $4,024.80. Okay, pretty expensive, really, what it sounds like. Probably because the widgets are really big. Uh, okay, so that's fine. That's C. So let's erase C now. And we can also erase that because we don't need that anymore. Now we get to D, where it says, what is the additional cost of storing the increased inventory? Now, these are all the newly manufactured widgets uh, for the next two years. And this one is certainly the hardest of all four of these parts to this problem. And uh, to do this one, first what I would do is just kind of write out the sequence here uh, in a table. I would say, for example, first I would write down week number one, week number two, week number three, week number four, dot, 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 out to week number 104. There are 104 weeks. And then I would write down the widgets. Now this is the increased inventory of widgets. Not the original widgets, only the new widgets that are made. That's all they're asking for here. After the first week. So what I'm going to put here is after that week, how many additional widgets are there? Well, it's going to be 37 after the first week. And after the second week, there will be um, 74. That's just twice that number. Okay? Let me write down 103 and then also 104. I'll put a little comma in there for the, for the sequence. Um, after uh, 103 weeks, I take 103 times 37. And that's 3,811. And then after 104 weeks, there'll be another 37 more. That'll be 3,848. That's the number of additional widgets. Now I'm going to write down the cost uh, that is costing each week to store all of these additional widgets. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. And you have to kind of make some assumptions. Like at the end of the first week, how much have you paid in storage? Well, you manufactured 37 widgets in the first week. You haven't actually stored them for a week yet. I'm going to say that you, you, don't, you don't have any costs in the first week because the 37 widgets are still in the factory. You haven't shipped them to the warehouse. So I'm actually going to say in the first week the cost, there wasn't any cost. And in the second week, at the end of the second week, you've actually only stored 37 widgets. So Actually, I'm going to say that the cost there is only $3.70 after the second week. And then after the th in the third week, at the end of the third week, for the third week, you're going to be paying $7.40 because you have um, 74 widgets in the warehouse for that week. And then at the end of the 104th week, you're actually going to have uh, you're going to be saving 3,811 widgets in the warehouse for the 104th week. So I'm going to say that it's $381.10. And even though you had 3,848 widgets at the end of that week, the last 37 of them you weren't paying to store. So that's where the tricky part on this is. You might get the wrong answer even though you, you basically knew what was going on. And it depends on exactly the exact cost for these uh, extra widgets, someone could argue could do this a different way. They're not really wrong, but they might get their answer wrong. Okay, so the idea on this is now we have to add all of these up. So in this case, what we want to do is add up these numbers. Now they start at two and go to 104, so there's really only 103 of these terms, and that's just the way I made the table. So I would say that using the formula that we've already derived in previous uh, video for the sum of an arithmetic sequence, which this is, we can say that the cost, total cost, for the entire 104 weeks is going to be the first plus the last times the number of terms, then divide by 2. Now, I could actually 
include this term too because this term is is zero. You add 370, you add 370. So actually, this is perfectly fine. I can say 104 terms if the first term is zero. And then I can say the total cost is going in this case zero plus 381.1 times the number of terms. It's 104. And then divide it by two. Okay, and that's going to be equal to 381 dollars and ten cents times 52. And once again, I'm just going to do that on my calculator. 381, 381.1 times 52 equals, that's 19,817.2. Uh, that seems like a lot of money just to store these widgets. And that's why I'm thinking these widgets must be really pretty big, so you really have to take up a lot of space in the warehouse to actually keep them. Um, but anyway, that's the answer for part D. And that's all for this problem, 18. So that's it.